Welcome to Modern Vibes with Dr. Jerry the First, episode 207, this Sunday, the 8th day of April 2018. My name's uh, Dr. Jerry the First Oguzi, and I am talking on the fact that if you want to supersize your life, here are five ways to do that. While growing up, especially between 5 and 12 years of age, our parents had this tendency to buy oversized things for us. Clothes, shoes, sandals, just name it. And the argument was that since we were still growing, we we'll grew up to make the items so that they would then size us. That principle can also be applied to life and living. You can actually supersize your life. McDonald's does it, so why shouldn't you? Life is filled with choices, so why not choose to live life in a more satisfying way? Here are five ways to supersize your life. 1. Say yes to life. Henry James says, Be not afraid of life. Believe that life is worth living and your belief will help create the fact. A newborn child has an underdeveloped subconscious mind. And so it has no memories of what it was like to be in the womb for nine months or more and all that. But slowly as the baby grows, it begins to gather experience from the gestures and actions of his or her parents, siblings, aunties, uncles, and all those that come across her on him. He or she begins to hear the conversations of the, those around him or her, and he or she begins to form his or own opinions based on what he or she has been exposed to. And in due time, his or her subconscious mind becomes fully developed to become a reminder of sorts for him or her. A growing child is a bit no fears, but such fears are transferred to him or her by her parents and guardians. And with time, he or she becomes a slave to such fears. And so he or she allows such fears to control and rule his or her life. Instead of seeing opportunities as a way of growth, he or she takes a long time to find out what it would take to be involved in such an opportunity. He or she has this so much that by the time the opportunity, she's ready to take on the opportunity, it is gone. Saying yes to life allows wonderful blessings to come to you. Say yes to opportunity and success. Say yes to a life that you live by your own standards. Say yes to making your own decisions and not seeking approval of others. Say yes to a fulfilling and rewarding career. Say yes to a relationship that energizes, supports, and stimulates you. Say yes to a promising future. Say yes to living without guilt, resentment, or regrets. Say yes to spending more time on your self-improvement. Say yes to living an authentic life. Say yes to taking chances and freeing yourself from fear. Say yes to happiness and achievements. Say yes to a well-lived life. 2. Love yourself and others unconditionally. In 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verses 3 and 5, the Holy Scripture of the Bible says, Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It is not rude. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. When was the last time you loved without hesitation or caution? Withholding love as a means of control only leads to distrust and resentment. Loving unconditionally means loving without judgment. Free yourself from unrealistic expectations and accept the person you love for who they are. Do not expect your needs and wants to be fulfilled by someone else. Allow those you love to express themselves without fear of rejection. Do not punish yourself or loved ones for past mistakes. People use the word love very loosely. But do not stop to think of the implications of using the word. Take the time to be responsible. 
in how you show love. Allow yourself to love and be loved. 3. Take risks. Anais Nin says, There came a time when the risk to remain tight in the bud was more painful than the risk it took to blossom. Everything in life involves a risk. Even eating, drinking water are all risky ventures. Are you allowing the fear of rejection and failure to dictate your life? Fear inhibits success. Take chances and free yourself from limiting beliefs. Taking risks empowers you to take charge of your life. Be curious about life. Experiment and try new things. Set goals for yourself and take action. Step out of what is safe, comfortable and familiar to you. Step out of your comfort zone. Examine what feelings emerge when you're thinking about taking a risk. Ask yourself, what am I afraid of? Concealing yourself in a safe container prevents you from exploring other possibilities. Embrace the unknown and anticipate success. You will never know the outcome if you don't take the risk. 4. Make the impossible possible. Winston Churchill says, The pessimist sees difficulty in every opportunity. The optimist sees the opportunity in every difficulty. You think it can't happen? Then it can't happen. It is possible to get through the difficult times in life. Learn from failures and take responsibility for your life. Listening to your inner critic can sabotage your dreams. Silence the critic by reaffirming all the things you are capable of doing. Dream big and be excited about your future. Find and release your untapped talents. Believe in your abilities and discover what you have to offer to the world. The world is waiting to celebrate you. Think about all the things you can do and then try to do them. What can happen? What would be the worst case scenario? You do it once you don't succeed, you do it again. You keep doing it until you succeed. Think back to a time when something was difficult and you were able to overcome the challenge. Continue to live life in a safe container doesn't help you gain anything in life. Take the necessary actions and achieve your goals. Stop assuming and start achieving. 5. Make your life really count. Annie Dillard says, How we spend our days is, of course, how we spend our lives. Do you know that for every day we live, we are closer to the grave? Do you know that as Shakespeare, Shakespeare said, Time and tide wait for no one? Do you know there's just so much you can pack into this life of yours before it is gone forever? Do you know that what will outlive you is not the money you leave behind or the mansions or the feet of cars, but the remembrance of you by those who help to take a quantum leap in achieving their own goals and objectives? It is popularly said that to live in the hearts of those who love us is to live forever. Make your life really count. Go to where you are appreciated and celebrated and not where you are tolerated. Chat that course which no one has started before now. Clear that pathway which has been overgrown with weeds and rodents and all that. Make someone else's life to count and your, your life will also count by doing that. So you do these five things and let me know if your life does not take on a new meaning and a new direction. Until I come your way again, this is Morning Vibes with Dr. Jerry the First. This program is powered by Top Top Media and Communication Nigeria. All rights reserved. Thank you for listening to this broadcast today. It would please us to no end if you continue to visit our podcast. And so to be able to do that, kindly click on the red subscribe button towards your right to subscribe to our channel. In the same vein, also click on the bell beside the subscribe button so that you can always receive the notification for any new podcast we upload. 
Also give us a thumb up to like this podcast. These help us to grow. And do help us share the podcast to your friends in the different social media sites you belong to. Click on the share tab just below the podcast and share directly from there. The full text of this podcast is on our blog. And would you want to read it, kindly visit the blog. We have a Facebook page where we also post our podcast on a daily basis. If you're on Facebook, kindly like our Facebook page. The links to our blog and our Facebook page are in the description box right below. Thank you for your attention. Do have a very nice day.